Divine Angelics of the New Earth, Happy Sagadawa, the Enlightenment and Pari Nirvana of Shakyamuni Buddha, and Happy Full Blood Moon, Lunar Eclipse in Sagittarius. This is a super moon and very powerful. We have so many intense energies flowing in right now. We are being blasted into the higher dimensions, the higher realms of freedom, divine sovereignty, unity consciousness. And from my white gold eagle emanation, with the super full blood moon and lunar eclipse, we had a CME that arrived today possibly with a spike at 7.37 a.m. EDT, which was 11.37 UTC, 37 into the 73, heaven on earth. We are getting blasted with these higher pulsing frequencies of 5D through the activations of Solaris transforming into the sixth sun on the Aztec calendar. We are feeling these pulsing waves in so many ways. We had a big blast of white light showing up on the Schumann charts at 30 hertz and 48 hertz resonance amplitude in the higher octaves of frequencies. We also have photonic rays of multidimensional plasma waves flowing into Gaia and our electromagnetic energy fields. These are causing our DNA strands to receive the upgraded codes for this great ascension from 3D to 5D and beyond. This is the event energies and the quantum leap of consciousness into homoluminous beings of crystalline diamond light. Several hours ago, the sun blasted off a powerful C-class solar flare and a KP-5 geomagnetic storm and also the magnetosphere spiked right off the charts. Rise up, beloved beings of light, with the kundalini of Pachamama and step into our divinity and sovereignty of grace and bright virtue and keep going through and through and through until total compression breakthrough into the totality of of our pure presence and essence a whole let us know in the comments beloved beings of light what you're experiencing with this powerful blood moon and lunar eclipse so many intense energies very powerful activations we're feeling many crown activations opening the rainbow bridge totally lit up while Layla, the hummingbird been with us all day today her crown gold and yellow glimmering in the sunlight we are receiving the hummingbird medicine through this great shift and awakening and this eclipse portal. With these powerful waves coming in, we had 104 M1.5 or greater earthquakes in the last 24 hours. Most powerful on the ring of fire again, Japan, Amori, 4.8, 12 of the Divine Goddess earlier today, another activation in the sacred portal of Africa, right on the equator in Rwanda, Western Province, 4.6, Redwood Valley, California on the coast, 3.2, also ring of fire, Puerto Rico, 3.4, Dominican Republic, 3.2, this is the new Atlantis energies, the Divine Masculine Christos energy. We had another activation in Rwanda, Africa, 4.2, Puerto Rico, 3.4, Peru, South America, Andes Mountains, Kundalini, Pachamama, 4.3, another activation, Puerto Rico, 3.5, and then the 4.8, activation, Japan, Santa Barbara, California, also on the coast, 3.4, Okinawa, Japan, we had multiple activations, 4.5, 4.6, and another 4 6 10 10 portal the first portal to my sacred condor mentone texas 3.1 in the heart of lemoria right in the center pahala hawaii 3.1 chile south america 4 1 another 4.5 activation rwanda okinawa japan another 4 5 chile 4 5 pakistan right on the border with afghanistan we had a 4.2 in the crown of Lemuria, 
Sandpoint, Alaska, 3.6, and in Russia today, 4.1, 272 kilometers depth. Again, the whole ring of fire totally lit up. Fiery energies of Shakti flowing in. This is the purging by fire, the trial by fire, and this is the enlightening, the lighting up of our DNA, of our chakras, and our meridians, the dragon lines within our sacred vessel, being mirrored holographically with the dragon lines of the earth and the dragon lines of heaven. The whole dragon nation with us now, the sky beings, the star nations, and the thunder beings activating us in the sacred power right now. Holy Spirit with us. The holy waters coming in with the fires to balance out the five elements to bring all into harmony and balance. 555 five, five, coming in with this fifth dimensional energy. We have a lot to cover today in today's transmissions. So let's get started with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 14 degrees 32 minutes Sagittarius. And the sun is at 6 degrees 1 minute Gemini. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 7 degrees Gemini. An old fashioned well. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 15 degrees Sagittarius, the groundhog looking for its shadow on Groundhog Day. This is synchronic with us freeing ourselves from these time loops, from the prison of the wheel of birth and death. This is from astrologyweekly.com. And today my sacred condor pulled a card for you from the tarot deck Shadowscapes from Stephanie Poi Moon Law. And the card she pulled for you today is Page of Wands. Music is the universal language of mankind. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. With confidence and a childlike joy, she plays her instrument, sending forth her message. The cadences dance in swirling melodies, a song of confidence and assurance. The strident beats mark a quick tempo that is irresistible to anyone who hears it. She smiles, knowing that she is the center of attention, as she draws out all the creatures of the woods. Excitement fills the air in breathless exuberance. From ether and the nether realms, from sea and skies, come to my side. I summon all to heed this call. Come flock to me, come run, swim, stride. The page of wands is creative and passionate. She is witty, charismatic and outspoken with her philosophy. She knows her mind and is direct and forthright when she has an opinion. She may be a teacher, eager to pass on that kernel of knowledge that she possesses. She is the fiery spark of initiative, inventive, and she dares you to delve within and seek out the opportunities that may be frightening but have so much potential. Sometimes the actions that push you to the limits of comfort are the most rewarding. She tells you to do and not sit there with only mute desire. Action is what is important. Can you hear her song ringing? And today from Divine Sister of the Light, S.A. Smith, full moon energies have arrived. KP index is rising. We've had geomagnetic storm warnings hitting all afternoon. We knew energies on the front of our magnetosphere would be picking up. But will our galactic friend offer updates via the opposite side of Gaia as well? The answer is, of course, as you watch the Schumann resonance color spike, know within you this is allowing our ascension to soar. Your system craves these energies, even with the uncomfortable ascension symptoms. For our new people, can you let us know and share with us below in the comments some of the ascension symptoms you've been experiencing? Amazing one, you are growing, changing, and evolving. You are stepping into you. As we bring in our first of five full moons of ascension, allow your light to upgrade and shine. See these energies flowing into you. Welcome them in and feel them tingle through your system. You are doing it. Your mission is on track. Five full moons to go. You can do this, Divine One. From a girl in the universe.com. And from great beings of the world. According to Tibetan Buddhism today, the 26th of May, 2021, on the 15th day of the 4th lunar month, auspicious day of Sagadawa, it is considered as the Enlightenment and Maha Parinirvana Day of Lord Buddha Shakyamuni. 
This is a special day when Buddhists all over the world commemorate events of the birth, enlightenment, and the passing away of Gautama Buddha. On this day, the supreme light of realization dawned on Buddha, and he attained enlightenment, nirvana, beneath the Bodhi tree at Bodhi Gaya. Buddha passed into eternity, Maha Peri Nirvana, after completing his Sahasra Chandra Darshana 80th year on the full moon day of Vaishaka. Tayatha Om Muni Muni Maha Muni Sacha Muni Ye Shava. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Laura Pleiadian. Full Blood Moon, Total Lunar Eclipse, May 26, 2021. Go Deep Within. Hello to all of you and soon we'll be in the throes of a profound shift in frequency that may for some of you feel like it tests you to your core. It is the powerful full moon, blood moon, full lunar eclipse in Sagittarius, May 26, 2021 at 8.13 a.m. ADT. We are able to, to be unmovable and boundless in all areas of being. That is the ascension, the mastery of form, mastery of your own energy and awareness through your heart. I continue to mention, and even more so now, to realize the way this plays out in your world is the result of the impact of frequency within your frequency. Your frequency includes your thoughts, your emotions, what it is you are vibrating to and as. This is a constant. There are not any moments that you are not creating your reality. Look within. Go deeper within. How are you relating to every single moment? Not only one hour of the day, not even two hours a day, and not just during daylight. This is a 24-7 deal. Mastery is mastery, and if you are not fully into that, you may as well stop listening now. There is no faking being real in the moment, moment to moment. You either are or you are not. Now your unique blueprint and what level you are at while being your being is unique only to you. We can speak about oneness until we're blue in the face, but until someone awakens and takes responsibility for their own inner world, it is meaningless. Just words added to the already fake 3D world that most live within. What I am saying is wake up in all moments and pay attention to now. In this we activate you now and today and whenever these words appear to you. In a dream, in a reality, wake up now. Live free from time. Wake up and pay attention. Now many are depicting a gloomy outcome for this full moon because the aspects suggesting increased crime, disease, and overall ugliness. Now if everything is according to your unique frequency, then it is but a reflection of that which is hidden within you. You literally create the world you see. Influences, of course, may be observed, but attachment to meaning is all yours. Own it, it only belongs to you. I suggest full freedom from mass consciousness and entering a world within you that is filled with moment-to-moment -moment harmony through your heart. Nothing and no one can move a soul fully entered in eternity, yet also here in form. The aspects to get down to it are moon square Jupiter and of course sun opposite moon at a gigantic lunar eclipse near a Mercury retrograde with Mercury square Neptune, with Venus square Neptune and Saturn square Uranus, with a fixed star adding malice to the mix. We have ego rearing its ugly head saying please look at me. Forget the divine, I will grab your attention and keep that energy coming to me to feed me and on and on it goes. The question is, where are you in all of this? In harmony not being moved at all from the moment-to-moment -moment bliss? Or in agony in the body, battling with the energetic foes of your own making? You choose moment-to-moment. -moment. Do not lose that awareness. Keep coming back if you keep going away from your heart. Greed and ugliness is squealing with wanting energy. The question is, you? As things continue to escalate, remember the truth. Nothing can move a heart that has its home in eternity, in the here and now in form. Reflect, go deep within, lay low, be silent. With all the great beings present with me, and the divine council of overseers, as it always was and will be, we activate you in this, to stand as the moment-to-moment -moment awareness 24-7, as the harmony that knows its home in eternity, and here now, so I am blessing you now in love from the new divinehumanity.com and from Divine Sister of the Light Celia Fenn, Wednesday 26, Full Moon Supermoon and Total Lunar Eclipse in Sagittarius, Gemini Sun. 
Yes, today is the day. Very powerful frequencies incoming with this full moon, also called the flower moon, being spring and a super moon because it will be the closest moon to the earth in 2021. The eclipse itself will be visible in the Americas, North and South, the Pacific region and Southeast Asia. Expect powerful inner shifts. Old ways of thinking and being are moving out to make way for the new. You may find that your comfort zone has suddenly become very uncomfortable and that you are being urged to move forward to new ways and new challenges. This is just the beginning, as we can expect further shifts and realignments in June, July, and early August. This full moon is really saying to us, New Earth is here. The eighth dimension, solar connection, is powering up for the activation of full 9D connection, galactic center, moon, and Sagittarius. Enjoy the energy, everyone. Stay focused in the love, peace, and magic. New Earth is here. And from Movimiento 1111 on May 26, 2021, according to the Aztec calendar, we are officially entering the time of the sixth sun. We've been transitioning for 29 years from the fifth sun to the sixth sun. They've overlaid these years. But from this Wednesday, we will be under the only influence of the sixth sun. Every sun lasts 6,625 years. The fifth sun was a sun of light, meaning that people only sought out of themselves God, health, protection, spirituality, which gave authority to the patriarchal energy of control and the outer illusion of the systems. The sixth sun is different than the fifth sun, and it is a dark sun, which means we will now look inward into the darkness in search of introspection, guidance, creation, a shift toward female energy. Mother Earth, it is believed that under the blood eclipse under the sign of Sagittarius, there will be a huge frequency leap that will shake control systems, the government, as they can no longer sustain themselves in the new energy of the sixth sun. 5D change is related to the lunar eclipse. It has been suggested that we need to put our feet on the ground that day. Everything will become more chaotic, but in a good way. From chaos arises order. What an exciting time to be alive and witness this momentous awakening. The control systems have hacked your DNA and controlled freedom, so you can't promote this new consciousness. With this new era we enter and the end of the fifth sun, this is a reset DNA upgrade. Energy comes from divine central source. Please stay calm, be positive, manifest love to Mother Earth during this time. Avoid negative energy and connect to ground. Meditate as much as you can. Connect to the universe. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Kali Salvatore, May 26th through May 30th will be a very rare opportunity occurring in a 75,000 year cycle on the planets. It is throughout our galaxy the doors of our planet will open to receive this beautiful photonic energy of light. For all those who are awake and those who begin awakening, it will be like a new spiritual rebirth. They will see things in another way and clearer from May 26th to May 30th, receiving this beautiful gift from our galaxy. These days it is important to free your mind with meditation on love and peace for everything and everyone on the planet. Namaste, gracias. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Aluna, Joy, Yashkin. The full moon eclipse, launch portal. Super blood eclipse moon on May 26th through the annular solar eclipse on June 10th. During this full moon and eclipse portal, we could really see some long-awaited breakthroughs. This is what two Mayan calendars, sun signs that are linked to the full moon and the eclipse portal could manifest for us. This will be the most introspective and enlightening moon eclipse cycle in a long while. When I read two different Mayan calendars for these days and we added to the eclipse on a full moon, these days look very powerful and compelling. I already feel it heating up in my energy field as I write this. I'm sure you are feeling it too. This process could feel very emotional and a deeply shamanic experience. This time will launch a starting point. It will be mixed with the rising of some deep, self-opposing reflections that have been buried for a long while. Lots of powerful yin-yang energy will trigger, revealing self-critiquing at a deep, primal level. But it will also help us come back into balance. This time will pack a punch if we are willing to do the inner work. It could feel otherworldly at times, but it will also reveal a sweet window toward the future giving us renewed hope. 
It is very much about finding the balance in the extremes. It is about bringing into the physical world the magic of the in-between and even multi-dimensional worlds. We are awakening the mystic and enlivening our natural magic into reality. This is being empowered by the powerful and deep Mayan day signs linked with a powerful eclipse. This is a start toward receiving from the new realities and excavating the ancient or shrouded that is still viable for the future. The challenge will be in our manifestation which will oscillate between the calling to start something new to feeling like we are still in between worlds or in the creative void. Both are true. This time will take patience, loads of grounding, inner strength and perseverance, be tenacious within the flow. During this past year, we could not plan anything with any certainty. Because of this, living by our intuition has only become stronger and emboldened. This will become very evident in days to come. The flow will not come at easy at first, but at least we will see some flow return. But we are starting to see that some things are starting to take hold in the material world. Our visions are beginning to be realized. Insights based on the Mayan days of 1. Tejash Quiche, sacred traditional calendar, still used by Mayan elders in Guatemala, linked to the throat chakra. Use your Egyptian essential oils, fifth throat chakra, amber cashmere oil, links to the tenth chakra, the earth, universal chakra, seven, Akbal, Yucatec, Mayan, Ha'ab, astrology calendar, not in active use by Maya people of the region, linked to the solar plexus chakra, Use your Egyptian essential oils, third solar plexus chakra, jasmine oil, links to the twelfth chakra, the intergalactic divine source chakra, from alunajoy.com, and today from divine bro star of the light, Graham Forska, galactic astrology, May full moon, 25th, 26th May. This full moon takes place at 5 degrees Sagittarius and axis with Gemini, tropical, aligning directly with the cousin of the Pleiades, the Iares cluster. Those with superluminal capabilities may experience a connection. Superluminal physics, Dan Winter fractal phi longitudinal wave, reveals real-time interactions are possible between two locations over any distance. If this is a revelation while still in 3D, then more advanced races can certainly take advantage of this interdimensional understanding those living within Iades could telepath the genetic families here on Earth in real time, and today might be their prime day to do so. Active influences during these few days also include Asteroid Gaia, 5D Earth, Gaia Hypothesis, is conjunct to Earth and Moon, Asteroid DNA just past Pluto, Pluto is like Sherlock Holmes and about to meet Chariklo, Energy Healer. Mercury, researcher, journalist, is with trans-Neptunian planetoid Zhu Long. Zhu Long is the Chinese solar dragon, the plasma portal tube between Earth and the Sun. Earth, Moon, Gaia form a grand trine with trans-Neptunian Selassia, Ocean, and Varuna cosmic laws. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Sophie Bashford, Full, super, flower, blood, moon, lunar eclipse. This is a great turning point for you, or it can be if you harness the energies. This full supermoon calls for gentleness of all kinds, a real, ultra-feminine, receiving and trusting flow. Do you find it difficult to open up and receive? Are you always pushing for outcomes or worrying about the future? If you've experienced a painful loss or challenging emotional time, this moon can really support you with her waves of compassionate light. If you're simply feeling burned out or depleted, this moon can really fill your cup. Most importantly, don't be hard on yourself. Life can be intense and demanding. You've been holding a lot, and most of it is probably using your masculine energy, planning, strategizing, logic, analysis, figuring things out in your head. This full moon carries a supercharged dose of feminine light. The goddess Quan Yin and many feminine archangels are sending nourishing waves through a template called the Flower of Life. If you can, just take a few minutes to receive the energy. Imagine your heart center opening to receive all the help, support, resources, and time that you need. 
Imagine flocks of angels and goddess Kuan Yin coming to refill your tired body and mind with high quality light. Imagine yourself handing over things you're worrying about or struggling with to Kuan Yin and her feminine archangels. See the flower template absorbing your concerns or problems. Accept relaxation into your body. Just do your best. Seal over your chakras with white light and a kiss from Kuan Yin. Enjoy the nourishment of the full flower supermoon. Be refilled and replenished. Ask for help from the divine and notice when it arrives into your reality. From SophieBashford.com And from the order of the star, lunar eclipse on the super full moon. Eclipses are harbingers of change. They usher in evolution. At a lunar eclipse, the shadow of the earth falls across the face of the moon, bringing unconscious feelings to the surface, grounding them in reality. Lunar eclipses are culminations of emotional cycles that have run their course, and they encourage us to let go of emotions and attachments that are no longer serving us. The lunar eclipse will be an extremely powerful time for cleansing our emotional waters and setting intention for renewal and rejuvenation in the coming months. Because the energetic cycles of the lunar eclipse tend to extend through the period of the next three months after its event. In a lunar eclipse, the sun momentarily blocks the illumination that creates a full moon, resetting the current emotional cycle and allowing the shadow to reveal what is hidden in our subconscious or keeping us blocked from seeing more clearly. The spiritual aspects of the moon represent our deep emotional tides. And so when the shadow passes over the moon, temporarily ceasing the illumination of our emotional being, there is an opportunity to reveal and transform our current emotional state. Lunar eclipses are viewed in astrology as being deeply transformative times that can bring abrupt and sudden change. While this is true, there is another side to eclipses that is important to remember. Eclipses are like the cosmic helping hand of the universe. Imagine the energy of an eclipse like a universal hand that reaches down from the heavens and puts you where you need to be. This can be a time of leaving what is safe and comfortable in order to grow more fully into yourself. The good thing about eclipses is that generally you can trust the direction they are guiding you in. Eclipses bring about events that are part of the cosmic plan. These are important times for reflection upon your life, whom you need to forgive, or what you need to let go of and move on from. Eclipses are rare because they can only take place when the sun, the earth, and the moon are all aligned. They always happen in groups of two or three. A lunar eclipse happens when the moon and sun are on exact opposite sides of the earth. There are four to seven eclipses every calendar year. Typically, there are two eclipse seasons. Year 2021 has four eclipses, two solar eclipses, and two lunar eclipses. The upcoming eclipse season begins on May 26, 2021, beginning with a super full moon blood moon eclipse. Total lunar eclipses are sometimes called blood moons because of the reddish orange glow the moon takes on during the eclipse. On the day of the eclipse, the full moon will be closest to the earth so it may look larger in the sky, making it a blood supermoon eclipse. The next eclipse will be a partial solar eclipse on June 10th, 2021, then a penumbral lunar eclipse on November 18 through 19, 2021, and a total solar eclipse on December 4th, 2021. Embracing Change and Honoring Life Cycles the energy of a full moon is always that of the cycle coming to a crescendo or completion of its influence and essence. The full moon is an opportunity to let go of an aspect of your emotional experience that you have outgrown in a time for anchoring in a new maturity or wisdom that was gained in previous cycles. It is a perfect time for releasing something that no longer serves you. Endings are necessary in order to make way for the new, and a lunar eclipse is like the final purge or cleansing of an emotional cycle. If something needs to be gone from your life, if something needs to come to an end, an eclipse can help you to set the intention of completion in concrete in the external world. Every single full moon brings a chance to embrace changes, let go, and cultivate greater connection with the divine. I believe we can experience connection with the divine by simply being mindful and present to the cycles of nature, the seasons, and life all around us. By developing a spiritual practice that is founded in earth-based wisdom 
and honoring the cycles of the moon and seasonal cycles of change and growth, we can live in greater peace and harmony in our daily lives. The full moon is the time to release attachments or blocks and barriers to our worthiness and open ourselves to greater receiving and inspiration. The energy of a full moon is always that of a cycle coming to a height of its current resonance. Whatever you need to let go of, whatever changes you need to make, an eclipse on the full moon can help you to release and let go and open to the new. Doing a small personal ritual on the full moon lunar eclipse like lighting a candle or writing an intention down on paper and burning it can help you to engage the energies of release and usher in new changes. The energy of this lunar eclipse will last through the beginning of the new year and will open a new gateway of energy that is productive, active, and positive. Change is constant. We talk about growth and change and letting go of the things that no longer serve us with hope. But the reality is change is uncomfortable and can bring in up a lot of fear of the unknown. We like things that are familiar and comfortable. Even our worst habits can be serving us in some way by keeping us small and comfortable. Real change requires us to be conscious of our emotions and feelings. We can step into a new way of being by honoring and recognizing ourselves and the natural rhythms of life. Trust whatever is unfolding in your life as natural to the cycles of transformation and change, and know that it is all for a higher purpose. And from Divine Bro Star the Light, Paul Dobry Carey, the times of solar eclipse expand great cosmic portals to open, allowing the collective consciousness of thoughts, wishes, desires of all people and all nations to join as one. This sends out a clear, pure, vibratory tone to the universe of who and where you all are as a unified planetary nation. This broadcasts a message demonstrating your continuing maturity and spiritual growth and defining your significant progress to join with your celestial brothers and sisters in achieving unity and to further your personal and global ascension and enlightenment process. You are currently experiencing the combined and expanded higher vibratory energies that are returned in response to the opening of this portal, which allow greater expansion of life within each individual and collectively as a whole. This will take greater significance in your daily lives and decision-making processes. Your own higher actions and desires benefit all, and in turn will increase the light quotient of all those around you, whether they have awakened or not. It is others' own beliefs that define what they choose to do with the energies they may unknowingly receive. Know that each soul will follow the path they choose, as do you. The arrival of higher energies will not remove the obstacles you perceive that currently surround you, for they are your own construct, however you will experience when they have been sufficiently released, as you find a cleared path ahead for you to move into once you are ready to do so. Personal growth comes from your efforts transformed into action, desire transformed into divine will, and your continued dedication to allow the manifestation of spirit into form and substance. You are blessed and loved beyond measure, and we honor all that you are. From PolarisAB.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Melanie Beckler from Ask Angels. It's happening. Waves and waves of light and cosmic energy are flooding onto the planet right now. In preparation for a huge shift, the awakening of Gaia Mother Earth and humanity to a whole new level. For millions of years, Gaia's consciousness has been in a sort of slumber, a sleep state. This gave humanity the opportunity to play out weird, distorted games of separation, war, destruction, suffering, and lack, all consciously and unconsciously chosen through free will. But this is now beginning to shift. Gaia is waking up and humanity is beginning to awaken along with her. These are powerful times. You've heard that before. It is powerful because we're living through the transition between ages, between epochs, between yugas. We are transitioning out of the Kali Yuga, Age of Darkness, into the Satya Yuga, Age of Truth. These are Sanskrit words, but know that this time has not only been prophesied about by the Vedics, but also the Toltecs, the Mayans, Essenes, and so many more wise lineages and traditions. We are living in the transition time between epochs, which is exactly why we each as souls chose to be here. It's because there is a huge opportunity now 
to break free from the weight, chains, and baggage your soul may have been carrying for lifetimes. There is an opportunity now to clear all baggage, all the heaviness and distortion of separation, lack, and fear, so you can ascend into embodying divine I Am Consciousness truth and radiant light. Ascension doesn't happen to you. It's not an event you sit back and watch from the couch. It's something only you can claim, choose, and consciously call forth. The full moon on May 26 is a huge energy and a key node on the organic ascension timeline for humanity and the earth. It's not only the Vesic full moon and the anniversary of Buddha's enlightenment, which annually is an incredibly high frequency event. It's also a super full moon, total lunar eclipse, an entrance into the gateway of energy leading up to the June solstice. As I shared with you in a previous email, this energy is revealing what needs to be transmuted, changed, or healed for you to embody more truth and light. This revealing can be intense. You're likely already feeling these effects in some way. I certainly am. Just remember that this intense eclipse gateway also creates an open, dimensional gateway to the higher realms. So all the support, frequency, love, and guidance from high, high-level spiritual beings, ascended masters, archangels, and galactic allies is available. Take advantage of this unique window of energy. There are many paths that lead to truth and light. The key here is to choose to participate. Make the choice to shift, to evolve, to take advantage of this eclipse and solstice gateway we are moving into now. Make the time and create the space to do the work and consciously embrace the new levels of healing, light, and the newness of life becoming available. Step into the new paradigm that is opening its doors to you now. All the power of this time and this dimensional gateway is available to you within. It's up to you to choose if you tune in. What is your choice? And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, Servant of Yahweh. The competition in your life has broken. Healing of neediness begins. Supporting you to fill up your own emotional well. These were karmic attachments that have ended with this full moon eclipse, opening up the opportunity to have a healthy relationship. The Divine Masculine Christ Collective are seeing clearly their karmic relationships as well. Their awakening is now revealing to them to make the decision to leave karmic relationships for the next evolution of their soul's journey. They are consciously choosing to have their divine union and are taking action steps to achieve that now. The Most High has been actively karmically clearing the mind and consciousness from the ego and reptilian brain since November 2020. We have completed the six-month eclipse cycle from the Sagittarius New Moon eclipse, December 14, 2020, to today. Solitude was needed over this time of removal of the old operating system. The end of clearing that mental state of being is here. This is God's master plan for all the starseeds, lightworkers, earth angels, ground crew. New ideas and inspiration are replacing what's been removed. Accept the endings of past relationships with forgiveness, as these karmic relationships are now neutralizing. New beginnings in love, new people, new courtships are materializing. You are not alone or abandoned. We have been going between old earth and new earth in this time of transition into a new 26,000 galactic year cycle. The great solar flash is near, which God has been preparing your flesh vessel for, to receive and hold this much light. As we move closer to this event, the veils of illusions dissipate in the Holy Grail, destiny opening the gateway for wisdom to access the Holy Grail, moving unions forward completely into new earth. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen, from Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lua Astrology. Lunar Eclipse, Full Moon, and Sagittarius conjunct asteroid Nemesis. A super blood moon graces the skies, bringing karmic issues to a head. As the shadow of the earth falls across the face of the moon, we're hit with realizations. What was not visible before becomes visible. Jupiter, the ruler of this lunation, sits square to the moon and sun, tugging at our feet like a whirlpool. Waves of emotions arise, threatening to overpower us, and yet, if we relax, we'll find that we float. Nemesis, stripped of her glory in modern times, was once a goddess 
who restored balance by giving what was due. What occurs around this eclipse reveals truths and sets the record straight. The gift of this eclipse is that it reveals where old beliefs are working against us. It's time to question how we see the world, to ask, is this true? What we see is filtered and colored by our experience. Old unconscious material can skew what we see. Part of us is looking for an escape route, but this is a time to sit with our feelings and examine our thoughts. Listen out for the voice of the gods in dreams and quiet moments. Remember, you are part of something vast and miraculous, ancient and wise. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from Harmonic Convergence 2020 through 2028. The Super Blood Moon Eclipse on May 26, 2021 is a rare celestial event. Why? There are several factors to consider. The eclipse takes place just a few hours after the moon reaches perigee, the closest point to Earth on its orbit, making it a super blood moon, as we will be able to see the moon totally eclipsed and turn a shade of red for about 14 minutes. It will take place with the moon transiting Sagittarius the area in the sky closest to the galactic center. It is synchronizing with the arrival of several combined CMEs, coronal mass ejections, that will hit Earth's magnetic field during the last hours of May 25th, potentially sparking G2-class geomagnetic storms on May 26th. It is synchronizing with an unprecedented set of spikes on the Schumann resonance, also known as the heartbeat of the Earth. The full eclipse phase begins on the 26th at May at 11.11 UTC. On the 13 moon calendar, the eclipse will take place on the 4th day of the 44th week of the year, 444, right at the heart of the last week of this 11th moon of liberation. On the Zolkin count, this day corresponds to Kin 163, 7 night, also at the heart of this 13-day cycle of the Red Earth, powered by evolution, synchronicity, and navigation. This cycle will close precisely on Kin 169, Red Cosmic Moon, June 1st, 2021, closing a perfect square of 13 cycles of 13 days on the 260-day count. Red Cosmic Moon, 13 Moon, will mark therefore the midpoint between the lunar and solar eclipses of the first eclipse window of 2021, Kin 169 also coded the combined signature of the four blood moons of the 2014 through 2015 Tetrad. According to timeanddate.com, this eclipse also marks the beginning of an almost Tetrad because it kicks off a series of four big lunar eclipses in two years. Three of these eclipses are total, while one of them on November 18 through 19, 2021 is a deep partial eclipse so deep that it is almost a total eclipse. The total lunar eclipse will mark the completion of 11 Zolkins since the day out of time of July 25, 2013, NS1.26.0.0. .0. This portal was the exact midpoint of the current 52-year cycle known as the new Sirius Cycle 1, 1987 through 2039. The eclipse will serve as a celestial preamble signaling the completion of 11 Zolkins of 260 days since we crossed the galactic synchronization event horizon of July 26, 2013, NS1.26.1.1, Kin 164, Yellow Galactic Seed. In other words, the coming lunar eclipse of May 26 will mark the completion of 2,600 plus 260 days from crossing the 26-year midpoint of July 26, 2013, of the current 52-year cycle. According to the Biosphere-Noosphere transition timeline, this day signaled the arrival of the new galactic synchronization beam, marking the entrance into higher resonance with the new 1320 timing frequency and the activation of new evolutionary programs on Earth. Entering the first eclipse window of 2021, closing cycles within cycles. Every calendar year has at least four eclipses, two solar and two lunar. But more rarely we have five, six, or even seven eclipses in a single year. The coming lunar eclipse, May 26, 2021, is marking the entrance to the first eclipse window of 2021 that will come to a close with the annular solar eclipse on June 10, 2021, 
and synchronized with yet another set of significant time-space markers. It will take place on the 12th day of the 12th moon of the 13th moon year corresponding to the new Sirius cycle 33 and S1.33.12.12. The most recent solar eclipse preceding the coming one took place on Kin 260.13 Sun, the last day of the galactic cycle. It will mark the completion of eight Zolkins from the fourth and last lunar eclipse of the prophetic Blue Moon Tetrad of 2014 through 2015, of September 23, 2015, and S1.28.3.9, Kin 1789 Mirror. Eight Zolkins corresponds to 2,080 days, 260 times 8, and is a perfect holographic fractal of the PSI bank composed by 2,080 noospheric memory cells, time as art. These alignments are opening once again a perfect window of opportunity to look up to the sky and tune into the larger picture. Let's elevate our focus of attention to rise above the current climate of fear propagated by the old paradigm, with so much chaos transpiring around our planet now, it is wise to take some time to focus our attention on the sacred ratios and proportions of the synchronic order and enter into resonance with the larger harmonic patterns and cycles of time. We invite everyone to connect and vibrate in resonance with the heart of the earth, the moon, the sun, and the galaxy during this unique harmonic window of time. We are one pulse, one earth, one people. May peace, harmony, and beauty prevail on earth in Lach Ek. And today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 163, Blue Resonant Night. Resonant is the name for the number seven, and its key words are inspire, attune, and channel. The seventh day of a wave spell is all about fine-tuning your intuition and listening to your inner voice. Be still and meditate if you like. Fine-tuning takes relaxation because we all have intuition, but we tend not to be still enough to make good use of it. Spirit is always trying to speak to us, but over the years we have become unaccustomed to receiving the message. Today is Blue Night and its keywords are dreaming, abundance, and intuition. The Blue Night has a wonderful imagination and always invites us to use ours too. Today is about dreaming and the abundance it can bring. As it is a resonant day, we can tune into our dreams and bring them out of the dark into our conscious minds. This means that today we can use our intuition to feel which dream is ripe for coming true and which dream should be left alone. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Resonant Night, Kin 163, 26 May 2021, Attuning to the Dream, Supermoon Lunar Eclipse, 26 5 2021 equal 26 5 5 equal 8 10 equal 9. 26. Empowerment through compassion. 8. Infinity, abundance, source flow. 5. Freedom, change, transformation, liberation. 10. Manifestation, leadership, power, authority. 9. Destiny, humanity, service, endings, compassion. Kin 163 equal 10. Manifestation, a day for attuning to the path of manifesting our dreams. Day 7 in the Red Earth Wave Spell of Evolution through navigating our way through the signs, synchronicity, and earth magic, flowing and aligning with the rhythms and cycles of Nova Gaia. Today is a day of inspiring dreaming, where we are guided by our far-reaching visions, following our intuition and listening to the synchronicities, leading to the manifestation of our dreams. Tone of creation, resonant, tone seven in the emotional realm. Action inspires, power channel, essence, attunement. The resonant tone very powerfully ignites the potential for great alchemy today as it provides the ability to fine-tune and channel the divine forces available to us all to walk through the doorways, offering new pathways and opportunities. Today we are super sensitive as we are attuned through our senses, the emotional feeling body. So tune in and feel what your body is sensing. At tone 7, our vibrating phenomenon learns to be still and to listen. Mystical Seven understands that everywhere is magical, but right here is better. Once we attune and then channel the magic through this present moment, number seven is also the frequency of the mystic and the magician, giving you the magic to manifest your dreams. What are you attuned to today? 
What an absolute gift to have the keys to the dream time during this eclipse portal where we can select a new timeline and steer our planet to our desired utopian destination. We have all held the dream of creating heaven on earth deep in our DNA encoding and now is the time to believe and know that by joining together through Gaia's crystalline diamond grid we can finally achieve that dream. Go forth and live an inspired life. Paradise awaits. Today's question is how can I attune to the vision of collective abundance to live a truly inspired life? Collectively, am I willing to release the past, reset and attune to a higher timeline and bliss-filled reality? Divine blessings for finding your golden key to unlock your prosperity. Make a wish in the dark void of the moon eclipse and set yourself free. Great dreams really do come true. In La Kek a la Kin, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 163, Blue Resonance Sun, the mantra the code for today is, I channel in order to dream. Inspiring intuition, I seal the input of abundance. With the resonant tone of attunement, I am guided by the power of vision. And on this powerful galactic portal, eclipse, blood moon, super moon, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. And by divine grace and will, our website is back up and running today. So thank you all for your prayers and your wishes. Nothing stops us now. Now I'd like to take the time to also thank those that are supporting us with your pledges and donations. We rely on our monthly pledges on Patreon and our donations for our daily living expenses. So I appreciate all your support. I'd like to thank and welcome Divine Sister of the Light, Tina Roy Ball, for your pledge and support. If you'd like to help support us to be able to continue doing our work with these daily transmissions, our music and art, you can make a monthly pledge on Patreon. The link is at whitegoldeagle.com. And if you'd like to make a one-time donation, we have the link at eaglelovecondor.com. So thank you all for your continued support. We appreciate each and every one of you. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's art business. She has custom-made Zodiac Goddess totems added to. These are made by order, so please allow 7 to 10 days for shipping. These are all custom-made. She also has the full 12 set Zodiac Goddess Totem for sale. This is one set and you can buy an individual Zodiac Goddess. And you can check these out at LunaGoddessArt.com. Now we're going to end today's transmission with a powerful code from our Pleiadian Bro Stars and Sisters of the Light and a Puja prayer for the Super Flower Blood Moon Blessings. We start with Pleiades 1 messages, May 26, 2021. P1 calling Terrans for origins recognition. Attention for calls in PVSE-SDE. Pranic explorations continue to be halted. Novice healings continue to expand. Rising revelations are spreading. Chamber cores are enlarged. Confident Himalayas sages continue to deliver real dreams. New blocks being delivered. Himalayas seek attunement of amazed who awaken. Packages being sent, 86% non-regressive. Cetaceans in the process of uploading, phase 2. First movement finalized, 100% non-regressive. Terrans prepare for reception. Attention local allies receiving credentials. Reverberation for systemic allies. Download started. Stage 2, 97% non-regressive. Opening of the fifth layer, virus sinus actives, 94% non-regressive. Next, opening of the fourth. Galactic openings happening for new entrances. Arcturians deprojects and specifics for reprojections in compatible environments. Ancestral wisdom continues to spread, declining internal charges. 
Karmic finalization continue for final elevation. Temporarily end a transmission, Pleiades one, potentiating Lemurian inheritances from DisclosureNews.it and from the Archangelic Calendar. Super Flower Blood Moon Blessing Puja Prayer Intention Workshop. We use nature as a rhythmic reminder, a friend, an ally, and an inspiration. Everything said and done can be done in a divine light if we keep this underlying tone. The following words hail from many traditions. Points of interest from the Macro Goddess Collective. May 26, 4.13 a.m. PST, Sagittarius, Total, Supermoon, Lunar Eclipse, Additional Influences, Jupiter into Pisces, Saturn Retrograde on 23rd, Neptune in Pisces, Mercury Retrograde on the 29th. Issues around freedom, travel, the law, and belief systems highlight the global stage. Unexpected changes, plot twists, loss, foundation shaking due to rapid Massive upgrading of collective consciousness, forward leaps, epiphanies, breakthroughs, awakenings, shifting of life trajectory, bigger and better is coming, past life and generational karma clearing, transmutation, soul detox, release of inner conflict, increased abilities to access divine blueprint, information for path of highest service, upgrades incoming to the upper chakras. We begin the ceremony. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the east to prepare a landscape for transmutation. I am connecting to this direction and evoking air, the element of change. Engulf reality, macro and micro, and all of its dimensions with the following breezes. White, pink, light blue, gold, yellow, green, red, teal, rose gold, silver, orange, indigo, violet, platinum, diamond, and rainbow. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the southeast. I am creative by nature, and in this creative flow, I will transmute all that no longer serves me into blessings of a profound light. Notice the dark, dense clouds around our physical reality, earth, and macro reality. Then direct the winds we previously summoned to the density. Change their shape, size, and color. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the south as I summon the transmutational power of fire, engulf reality, macro and micro, on all of its dimensions with the following flames, white, pink, light blue, gold, yellow, green, red, teal, rose gold, silver, orange, indigo, violet, platinum, diamond, and rainbow. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the southwest and summon fire and water to combine their transmutational powers to transform all micro and macro experience. Symbolically place all that no longer serves you in a metaphysical wooden crate, engulf this box with violet flame. Once there is nothing but ashes left, wash the ashes away with violet water. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the west. Flowing in infinite grace and divine timing, I cleanse reality of all micro-residue, engulf reality, macro and micro, and all of its dimensions with the following waters, white, pink, light blue, gold, yellow, green, red, teal, rose gold, silver, orange, indigo, violet, platinum, diamond, and rainbow. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the northwest to solidify my boundaries and reinforce my shields, engulf your physical vessel, those nearest and dearest to you, and all pure hearts in platinum shield, then engulf everyone in the following lights, white, pink, light blue, gold, yellow, green, red, teal, rose gold, silver, orange, indigo, violet, platinum, diamond, and rainbow. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the north, and become one with the physicality of earth. I bring forth this element to solidify the transmutation that I present here today. Engulf reality, macro and micro, and all of its dimensions with the following plasmas. White, pink, light blue, gold, yellow, green, red, teal, rose gold, silver, orange, indigo, violet, platinum, diamond, and rainbow. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the northeast to connect and help all life transmute their density into beauty. 
engulf the physical vessel of all pure hearts with violet flame, followed by platinum light and rainbow light. I face my mind, body, and spirit in all the unnamed directions. I am a cosmic being who is one with every atom in existence. I summon forth this connection to assist me in moving mountains. Connect with your inner observer, your direct connection to infinitely expanding creator source, and ask it to witness and incorporate these blessings as one with its divine mind. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit within, and summon forth my infinite inner self. I look to this endless wisdom to help me let go of what no longer serves me. And now meditate. Please speak the following aloud as you come out of your meditation. Metakwio yasin, metakwiosin, metakwiosin. Aho! from the archangelicalendar.com. Now thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed supermoon, blood moon, and lunar eclipse portal activations. And keep walking your sacred path with heart, living the life of your dreams, living your passions, and your life as art, because your life is a symphony, and you are an amazing artist, sculpting, forming and building the life, the reality of your heart's true desires. As we walk each other home into the light, we are dignified and glorified by the Holy Spirit within our heart, within our soul. And with the power of my I Am Presence, I activate you in this now, 144, codons activated, lit up, online, upgrade, complete. Have a beautiful and blessed awakening, and be sure to make it the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.